One thing my grandma always taught me is we always have to learn how to be good neighbors. Nowadays I feel like we close our walls off, our barriers off to other people. We just have to start learning how to talk to one another, to work with one another, and to make sure that we're supporting one another. Because when we do come together, we can do amazing things like this, not just here on Standing Rock, but all over the world. This community here in Standing Rock has inspired me to fight for what we know is right. There's a pipeline running under the Missouri River, and a lot of us were really like heartbroken for a long time and we didn't know what to do. But at the same time, I know that the No Dapple movement gave us a new beacon of light to our people to do something better, want to be better. To be here, to see it Standing Rock reveal the first indigenous owned and operated solar farm is incredible. This is Give Power's largest project to date. It's 300 kilowatts, 1,000 solar panels, and with that, we'll generate $30,000 a year of revenue. So the revenue will go back into taking the utility bill to zero of their community recreation center, lowering elders' utility bills, and also putting a significant amount of capital into youth-based programming. This is my first time in Standing Rock. It's beyond imaginable the things that they've gone through as a people, the scars that they've gone through. And to see the pride of the kids and to see them talk about the environment, that's a beautiful thing. It's really exciting time for Standing Rock. It'll inspire our youth to do innovative things that are sustainable so we can um, help protect our uh, grandmother Earth. Give Power came to Standing Rock in 2016. Um, we were actively involved in the pipeline fight. We brought these smaller power systems to support the water protectors in the camps. And through that, we saw the power of what we're building here. So over the course of the last three years, we figured out how could we make a permanent presence for solar on the reservation, and how could we support not just the water protectors movement, but the indigenous people that live here. We're looking for an example of what an ally looks like after Standing Rock and after this movement where you can't be physically a part of this place. And I think the Give Power project, the solar project, is an example of that. Give Power's alliance with Indigenized Energy, the bridge that they were able to build together is monumental and that's what it means to follow through on a movement. For me it was really humbling to be invited out to celebrate renewable energy, sustainable energy for our future generations. The sun provides you life, the water provides you life and it was all felt here tonight. Climate change is a big threat. All of us sitting here, we are the solution. And I cannot wait to build more of these. I'm gonna fight till I'm elderly to make sure that that is always the answer. Woo!